Hello! Today we're going to continue with our Bluebeam review tips and tricks. I'm going to show you how to take snapshots. Then I'm going to show you how you can take that snapshot and you can color it. You can put it, you know, yellow, green, blue, whatever you want. I'm going to show you how to cut content out of a PDF. We're going to learn how to edit text that is existing within that PDF. You can actually change that text. We're going to talk a little bit about the difference between vector and raster elements. I'm going to show you how to compare side by side two different PDFs or two different parts of a single PDF. I'm going to show you how to rotate views, how to rotate pages, how to split views. I'm going to show you how to synchronize documents. Extremely powerful. Let's say you have new plan and an existing plan and then you're comparing them. You zoom into the new plan, it would zoom in automatically into the existing one. You zoom out, they both zoom out. You pan right, they both pan right. You pan left, they pan You know, it's the other way because, you know, of the camera. I'm going to show you full screen crosshair. Sometimes people like that, like in AutoCAD, I like it. I'm going to show you how to dim your PDF content. So let's say you have a PDF and it's really dark. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can light it down a little bit, you know, tone it down and then you can do some annotations on top and your annotations pop up, you know, relevance. They assert dominance on top of a PDF. You get it. And then we talk a little bit about line weights. Hi everyone, this is Alex with Bim It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Another thing that's pretty cool is that you can come here to edit and take a snapshot, right? So you can select, let's say the, the kitchen, right? From here to here, that's the old kitchen. And then that's in your clipboard. And yeah, you could paste it into Word or whatever application you want, or you could paste it right here. Right, and yes, you could do that like with the snip command of, of uh, Windows, but the difference is that with the snip command, if you were to click here, right, and then you select this, and then you paste it, right, this is just an image, right. So if you come here, that's that image, right. But the first one that we pasted, which is this one, see, this was an image. But then this one is a real snapshot so that you can process so you can do like right click here and then go to properties and then here you could like change colors for example so let's say i want to modify colors i want to colorize and i want to change it to red right so i can click here okay and i can see okay you know what um i want to rotate this let's say if i rotate this kitchen 90 degrees uh, would it fit better right so I can play around with those things let's say I wanted to see how that would look there and I don't want this to bother me I could simply cut it out so you can come here to edit and then somewhere here yeah so you can cut content and let's say I can grab this and boop just cut it out then I can take my kitchen and I mean it does you know you know what I mean something like that right I could have just erased it you know but if you cut it then you have it in your clipboard so if I paste it it's still right here that's the original one another thing that I find really powerful about Bluebeam is that let's say I want to edit this text here right typically you cannot do anything with it right like you can select it and you can copy to your clipboard and do something but here in Bluebeam you can actually edit text so you can come here to edit PDF content and then here edit text and just like that this becomes editable so I can instead of a 300 I can make it a 400 how cool is that boom and if you're enjoying this content, there are many ways you can support it. You can like or leave a nice comment down there. It really helps me out. You can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos. You can join our Patreon community in the link you see on the screen, which is also in the description. You can spread the word around. 
share it with your coworkers and in social media. And if you know any MEP firms that need help with BIM migration or any other topics, you can let them know so that I can help them. And keep in mind that many of the tools that I've been showing you here are for vector elements. So vector text, vector elements. So this was either created out of Revit or out of AutoCAD. But if it's a scanned document from the building department from 1936, then this is not going to work. So keep that in mind. Don't be disappointed. It's just for vector elements. Another cool feature is that you have different types of views. You know, you can fit your page, you can fit your width, or the actual size. But the cool thing about this is that you can do like side-by-side -side comparisons. So like here, I have this would be the new plan, and this would be that demo plan. So you can check them side-by-side. -side. That can be useful. So let me go back to single page and um, you can also rotate your view. That's pretty useful. Let's say you have, because if, if something has some text that is in a different orientation, you can come here and just rotate your view, say clockwise, and then you read your thing and you, you're not actually rotating the page. You're just rotating your view. If you want to rotate your page, you can do so as well. You can go here and then see rotate pages and then you can rotate it uh, but in this case you're just rotating the view so let me undo that with Control z you can also split your view right here split vertical or horizontal in this case i'm doing vertical and uh, you know the cool thing about this is that let's say you're looking at this floor plan here but you would also like to look at it on 3d view and see what's going on you know, you can easily navigate like that. Sometimes you want to compare a previous document with a new document and you can do that here. And one tool that is really handy uh, when you're comparing documents side by side is the synchronize option. So you can come here to view and then synchronize document, right? And then what you do is you see how if I, go like this it takes me to the next page it takes me to the next page and then if i zoom in like this the other one will zoom in in the same area let's say i want to compare the oven right here it takes me to the oven so you can unsynchronize that like this and you go to the demo plan right so let's say you have it like this right so here you have the demo plan and here you have the new plan then you can click here on synchronize page not synchronize document Synchronized page. If you do synchronized document, it takes you to the same page. That's not what you want. So let's say I want to compare. It's just demo and new. I would um, unsynchronize. Then I go back to the demo. And then I go here to synchronize page. And then it zooms in at the same spot, right? So let's say I want to compare this area here. See? It's taking me to that area. So I can see exactly what's happening. And then if you want to unsplit it, you just come here and then you unsplit. And you know, similar to AutoCAD, you can come here and activate the full screen crosshair. Say you want to compare, you know, where the sink drainage is going to be in comparison to the tub or whatever. You can eyeball it like this. Let's say you want to dim the content to make some annotations or take some relevance out of this. You can come here to dimmer and then put it like at 20%. See how it's really light. And then you can make some annotations or draw something on top of it. And then if you wanna go back, you simply turn it off or either you take it to 100% if that's what you want, or you can, you can just turn it off and it will default to whatever it was before. You can also uh, disable line weight. In this case, it's not really noticeable because everything's really fine, but sometimes you'll have like a sanitary drain plan and it will have a sanitary drain line that is really thick. And if you don't want it like that, you can just come here and disable the line weights and it will show, everything will show the same, very thin, right? Without applying thickness. 
and I think I'm going to stop the video here and then on the next video we'll go over the documents and we'll see what else.